Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Intermoney Stocks. Today is February 25th, 2016. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. All right, let's take a look at the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You're going to see that the futures are basically flat today. They're trading down about a half point to 1929 and three quarters per contract. Yesterday, the market did have a pretty big reversal to the upside, but something happened overnight that's not getting a lot of airplay, and it was the Chinese market. Uh, looks like the Shanghai Composite last night really uh, took a turn for the worse. I believe it finished down over 6%. So we could call that a, a, a crash for the most part. And um, nobody's really talking about it all that much. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. But the reality of it is uh, you do have the European indexes a little bit higher today, trading up by about 1.5% on the German DAX. But when you look at the Shanghai, that was down over 6% last night. That could be a warning sign of things to come. So be a little bit careful there, and we'll see how it plays off. Uh, looking over at the um, <clears throat> stocks today in the news, we have plenty of equities out here. Lots and lots and lots of earnings. We're going to start off with the big one here, Salesforce.com. This is a cloud play, and what you're going to see is the stock closed at $62.52. It's trading at $68.85. Great move there. I am going to have gap resistance levels in the intraday stock chat room for this one. So, again, if you want to come over, trade this alongside of us. That will be posted up in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 o'clock. So, again, Salesforce on the move. Great move higher. We'll see how it plays out today once the opening bell rings. But, nonetheless, this will be on the radar. And, again, pretty good move there. Looks like Hewlett Packard um, is going to report as well, HPQ Inc., uh, report and earnings stock closed I believe at 1082 it's trading at 1022 I don't really see much here for the stock the only level that even warrants a play in my opinion is gonna be around eight dollars and fifteen cents so if you even want to try it there that would be your spot for a long side scalp other than that leave it alone let's take a look at Transocean I believe they reported earnings stock closed at 820 it's trading at 813 not a big deal but this will be in play today let's take a look at Apache another energy play <clears throat> Apache uh, Corp is trading at uh, $38.50 closed at 3860 so all in all um, not a no real movement in the pre-market but we'll be watching this one once the opening bell rings as well and again we had another stellar day in the intraday stock chat room so if uh, you want to come along and trade alongside of us take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat you'll see everything that we're doing and uh, i believe five more winners yesterday in the book so um it's just been a stellar stellar 2016 and remember if we get volatility we get lots of action and that's something uh day traders can't live without all right let's take a look at cold stores they report in earnings as well stock is trading at 4705 closed at 4546 so this is a good little move for KSS, I am seeing big resistance around 49 and a quarter. I don't know if it gets up there, but if it does, that would be a good resistance level in my opinion. Let's take a look at Best Buy. Best Buy reported earnings. It got a first initial flush, now trading back up toward the 32 level. It closed at 31.47. I'm going to give this a slight benefit of the doubt. Around 33, though, you come into really good resistance, and you also have more resistance around the 35.50 level. 35.50 is a clear-cut shorting opportunity, so keep that on the radar. All, mentioned, all levels mentioned are scalp levels today. Let's take a look at Campbell Soup. Yeah, not doing too much. Right now, trading at 61 bucks, close at 60.50. We won't make much out of it. Strum Ruger reported earnings, I believe. Stock right now is trading at 66.35. It closed at 64.22. So nice little uptick. No volume really to speak of. So we got to see that when the volume hits there. Right now, right off the bat, I am showing big resistance around the $73 level. If it got up there, I don't know if that will happen, but we'll look at it when it does. Let's take a look at Restoration Hardware. This is getting absolutely slaughtered. Closed at 51.92. It's now trading at 40.80. When I see a stock like this, um, remember, it's only been around publicly traded since 2012, November of 2012. So we don't have a lot of data to work off of, but um, there's really not much I would do with this equity at all at this point in time. Let's take a look at Domino's Pizza, DPZ. Um, stock is trading nicely higher, closed at 117, uh, and it is now trading at 127. Overbought on every metric, 
be very careful up here. This could be a fade. So, again, great move for Domino's. It's sharply higher. But after the opening bell rings, um, if you own it, I would trail the stop. If you do not own it, I would leave it alone. If you are looking to fade it, let it give you some signs that it is going to be a fade candidate. Right now, I'm not seeing that. But just looking at how, how overbought it is, I generally would look for a level to fade the move. But I don't have one at this moment. Let's take a look at NTES, which is Netties. And what you're going to see here is this stock is trading at 146.50, closed at 159.90. That's a pretty good decline there. Um, this is also a thin stock. What I mean by thin is it doesn't trade a million shares a day. So sometimes equities like this can overshoot. And I think traders got to be a little bit aware and a little bit careful of that. So right now, um, Netty's trading down sharply. Uh, the only level that I'm seeing here would be around 125. And that's still a long way lower. But um, again, we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to affect other Chinese ADRs. But, you know, stocks like Sohu and Sina Corp, uh, they could be in play today with the down move in NetEase. All right, so that's it for stocks. There are probably a few others out here, but um, we're not going to get into those right now. We can only do so many. But looking at the gold market today, gold is down $3.70. Not a big move lower, but it is down. And then you have crude oil futures uh, down about $0.38 cents at the moment to $31.77. Crude had that big reversal day yesterday on the back of some comments out of Saudi Arabia, but um, nonetheless, that, that really catapulted the rally in stocks. We'll see if that is the case today, but right now, crude oil uh, trading down a little bit today, down about 40 cents to 31.75. Again, uh, keep this market tight by the vest. It's going to be one of those you know, volatile trading sessions. That's the way 2016 is going to be, but lots of opportunities if you know what you're doing. All right, with that being said, everybody have a great session, and we will see you on the charts.